हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉर्निंग आई विश टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फंक्शनल एलिमेंट्स ऑफ म्यूनिसिपल सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट इन लास्ट सिक्स प्रेजेंटेशंस already we have got enough idea about what is the municipal solid waste what is its composition what is its generation what are the challenges associated with this particular municipal solid waste management as far as indian scenario is concerned and we also discussed about the physical characterization chemical characterization biochemical characterization and such things this is some background associated with the core concepts in order to manage the municipal solid waste hence now we wish to discuss about the principle of municipal solid waste management what is the scope for engineered systems in this waste management what are the various functional elements involved in this particular waste management and the interrelationship among the functional elements so as you learn the content you will be able to explain the principle of this particular municipal solid waste management as well as what is the scope for engineer systems in municipal solid waste management and various functional elements and interrelationship among these particular elements as far as municipal solid waste management is concerned in the first presentation itself we discussed about the definition of this solid waste management so we know that this waste management is a discipline it is involving so many people it is involving so many agencies so that through their combined efforts it will establish the control on generation storage transfer and transport processing and ultimately disposal we wish to how this particular control by observing best principles of public health economics engineering conservation aesthetics and other environmental consideration the generator the polluter is common man if we consider he or she at a center we must consider their attitude their attitudinal changes behavior and hence all the parts that are shown as underlined here need to be considered responsive to the public attitude 
So all this needs to be properly implemented in light of the behavior of the public. So this particular dotted line can be considered as society as a whole. As you see here, for this particular society, there is a need of certain products. That products are manufactured through number of technological processes by making use of certain raw material and by using this particular energy. As the product is created, it is consumed and as it loses the value, as it uses, as it loses its usage, the very product will be transformed into the solid waste and it will be thrown out of this particular societal framework and being refused it will be disposed on the land in the form of this particular solid vest. Hence, it is entering out of this particular societal framework and entering into this particular environment. As we consider these particular processes that are likely to occur at various stages, we have to have, we have to develop an engineering insight into the impact of this particular solid dust on the environment. Ultimately, we wish to protect the interest of the society. We wish to protect our environment. To do so, there is a necessity to reduce the quantity of this particular solid dust by going for say recovery and recycling of the materials as well recovery of the energy. Hence there is a need of integrated solid dust management system. This involves application of number of appropriate technologies like segregation, recycling, biological and thermal processing. Also, it involves the environmentally sustainable as well as economically feasible management solutions. So, this particular integrated solid waste management system, being a discipline, it is involving so many aspects like separation, transportation, reuse, recycling and so many other aspects in addition to the involvement of the non-government organizations in light of legal, economic, financial aspects. So, as we are dealing with so many such things simultaneously in order to manage this particular soil infest, we cannot go for any of these particular activities in haphazard way. So, this particular soil waste management system has to be engineered system and it 
involves analysis of all probable activities associated with this particular solid waste management right from the point of generation to the point of disposal. Hence, there is need of orderly execution of gathering of the solid waste, then handling this particular waste at the point of generation by making use of concepts such as reusing, recycling as well as recovering and the remnants that are obtained through these particular processes to have it processed so that it will be effectively and efficiently prepared for its disposal. From where it will be reaching to the last destination which is nothing but the disposal. So this is the ultimate site for placing this particular bust. These are basic functional elements of soil waste management. As we consider these particular functional elements now, they need to be arranged in specific manner. There has to be specific flow and their interrelationship should be the way it is shown through this particular flow diagram. First block is nothing but the waste generation. It is the point of generation. At the point of generation, the waste is expected to be handled, segregated, stored and processed. So these two blocks are associated with the generator. As the waste passes these two phases, it enters into the community phase where the need and the contribution is expected through urban local body or the representative or the agency who is working on behalf of that particular generator. So the waste needs to be collected. As it is collected, it can have these particular three avenues. It can be directly disposed. It can be sent to some facility which is further separating, processing and transforming that particular waste or otherwise. The waste could be transferred and transported from where it can be sent to the disposal facility. As you see here, this particular transfer and transport facility and the separation and processing facility can also be interrelated with each other. So depending on a particular source, depending on a particular composition, depending on the availability of infrastructure, funds and such thing, one can follow number of paths that will solely depend on the requirement of a particular region. As we move ahead, each of these particular elements will discuss separately. So the first element is waste generation where the waste is identified for its usefulness. 
sorry it is uselessness so this point needs control the second is on site handling storage and processing which is at the point of generation here there is a need to have reuse recovery and recycling promoted as far as this particular third block is concerned which is associated with the collection and the hauling of the waste to the destination there is a need to have this particular operation and maintenance improved as well as the routing of the waste optimized fourth block not serially but for convenience is transfer and transport which facilitates the transfer of the waste collected through these particular small vehicles into the big vehicle and subsequent transport to disposal facility or recovery facility here such facilities need to be economically analyzed so as to know the break evens as far as econom economical concepts are concerned the processing and recovery facilities are associated with the techniques and equipment used to improve the efficiency of the functional elements this will be helpful to recover the usable material as well to have the conversion products and energy this last block is ultimate disposal as on today most of the countries do think this ultimate disposal in the form of landfills however as we consider this scenario not simply in india but over the world there is a necessity to have the reduction in the waste stream reaching to these particular landfills as well since the ages there are many landfills which are just waste dumps to be transformed into sanitary landfills there are so many things to discuss for each of these particular blocks so what are the discussion that we will be having henceforth will be following the flow of these particular elements as well it will be based on the interrelationship of these various elements so thanks for your attention as we move ahead we will discuss the first element which is generation of municipal solid waste so by till then i wish you very happy learning thank you